Lagi seorang? Dah, dah cukup dah empat orang? Dah. Uh, okay. uh, kami akan uh, start presentation. Bolehkah kami start? Okay, uh, start ni. Uh, so Zakwan ada? So Zakwan dah ready ke belum? Okay, saya dah ready dah. Boleh okay. teruskan. Okay. Uh, uh, today we will present, uh, we will doing our presentation too for our project of Smart Padlock. Uh, in our we we are a group met by four person. First one is Eric Chin, Lai Jian Fung, Hi Hui Ting, and me Li Jing Rao. Uh, we have five table of content for our project. First one is introduction, content of our project objective, problem statement, question of resource, and scope of resource. The second one is literature review. Uh, in this content, we will present a review of our project. The uh, third one is methodology. In this content, we will describe the project design, material and equipment, improvement and programming. Uh, the fourth one is finding and discussion. We will collect all the data from responder who are in online server and process of doing the prototype. Uh, last one is conclusion. We will conclude all the chapter information to solve the objective. Uh, next is introduction. The introduction of this project, Smart Padlock, is an electronic and mechanical locking device that open using fingerprint to protect our personal information in using Smart Padlock. In it will more convenient and safety than traditional lock. A uh, problem statement, we have four, four problem statements. The first one is common locking is not safety and it can be easily bypassed. Uh, human have inbuilt locks since long time ago, which to protect their private and personal belonging. The problem is traditional lock is not safe and it can easily bypass. This is a very serious common occurrence for most people and it is a very serious problem. Uh, next one is child can also often occur in university. Child is a most serious problem which cannot be avoided. It using traditional lock, it is easily prey open by child. Uh, next is lost key often occur in university dormitories. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, students always lost their key and forgot to bring key. In this case, if student is experiencing in this in the incident, they need to be find the key from warden, but it takes long time. If warden enjoy their holiday, they need to be wet and cannot take the take their thing out. Uh, if they need to take out the thing, then the they can, the only method can be soft is they need to be broken the lock and take out it. It will damage the lock and they will need to buy new again. The last one is there are many defects in pet locks such as easy penetration, poor security, and the difficulty of dealing with the lock in one way which is the traditional key and there is no other way. Next, I will, uh, next is objective. The first is to design a smart padlock. Second is to produce a smart fingerprint padlock. Last is to test the result between traditional lock, traditional lock, padlock and smart padlock. The scope of resource, a hostel of polytechnic Kuching Shawa. User is student polytechnic coaching shower. Uh, we will design a smart padlock by using fingerprint sensor with Arduino system. Uh, we will test the accuracy of the fingerprint sensor. Uh, this is a framework of our project. First one is determine the project title. 
Uh, next is design thinking prototype and online server. Next is identify the problem statement, identify the objective and scope of the project, determine the question of resource. Next is literature, literature review. Uh, next is methodology, and we sub to three mat material and equipment, project design and programming. And next we will do finding and discussion. Next is data analysis, and last one is conclusion and recommendation. Uh, next, I will pass to He Hui Ting. The literature review. Check us. The introduction. Nowadays, traditional payload have many disadvantages to us. This is because traditional payload is using key. Some of students will lose their key, forgot to lock, or as so lock easily to block it. So we started to change the traditional payload to smart payload, which is using the pre sensor. The review. These all cases have been happened before. The first cases is once on Sunday, 12 April. 2000, 2000, a University Malaya UM PhD student Fong Ching Song had several electronic gadgets stolen from his office. And then the second case is the thief was discovered when a neighbor noticed the pit lock. Four go bangles, one go kada, two go chains, five go rings, two pairs of go earrings, one pair of a go ear pin. One silver card, two pairs of uncles, and one silver bracelet were stolen from the house. And the, the third case is on the 8th September 2021, a man named Sachin Campbell found a complaint in the Vashi police station that his house was robbed in the wee hours while he and his wife were asleep. When they wake up, they found the main door of the flat open and go ornaments, mobile phones, and RS-1.75 cash was missing. The police registered a case against an unknown person. The last case is, according to the Mehya Pradesh police, a burglar broke into the residence of a government official as civil lines in the was last month. During the breaking, RS-30,000 in Cash and some variables were stolen from three lot tank wall. And then the next. Uh, Eric. The next is uh, methodology. This is our project design. First, in front view, we can see black plastic black, and then we will use the UPVC pipe. 3 feet 82 mm and frame it with a frown gum. Then from a U shape and install it in the center of the door. Then we spray it in black with spray pen. Our fingerprint sensor modular will also be installed outside the door of the UPVC pipe. In isometric view inside the door, the system related to our product is assembly in a box. And that box we will use PVC trunking pipe. We will use hot glue to install the PVC trunking pipe on the U PVC pipe together. In black view inside the door, the solenoid will be installed on the equipment box. We lock the screw in central hall of the original door of the black U PVC pipe because we must ensure that the entry door is not damaged. Next is left side view. And the last is right side view. We also ensure that the installation of UPVC pipe will not affect the opening and closing of the door. Next slide. And there is a material and increment that we will use in our project product. First is Arduino Uno and Mega 3 to add. The Arduino Uno is an open source microcontroller board based on the microchip at T Mega. 328P microcontroller and developed by Arduino. The box is equipped with set of digital and analog input output pins that may be interfaced to various expression boards and other skills. The second is fingerprint sensor modular. Fingers 
fingerprint sensor model is used as a way to verify and identify. It is widely applied to computers, mobile phones, electronic door locks, access control system, and security safes. The next is solenoid. Solenoid are a great way to induce linear motion of pushing, pulling, or controlling switch and levers. This small door lock is designed to work directly with 12 view, which makes it a great match of embedded projects. Thus, it's power relay modular. A power relay modular is an electrical switch that is operated by an electron magnet. The electron magnet push to either open or close an electrical circuit. The next slide. The next slide is our programming. This is about the step of programming the entire product system. First, we install the app called Arduino IDE in our laptop. After that, we copy the coding from website and insert into the app. Next, we click the example of other fruit fingerprint sensor library and choose the arrow and another is fingerprint. Then we can add on the coding and send to Arduino box. Uh, next, I will pass to Lai Jianfeng. Uh, Lai Jianfeng. Sorry, uh, we made an online survey Google form and prepare a series of questions for others to fill in so that they can follow their own opinion and give different opinions and conclusions. There are 320 people fill out our Google form from question. The question we prepare is, have your belonging been stolen before? Do you often forgot to bring your key? According to the question above, do you think this product is useful? Do you interest interest of this product? Is this product bringing more safety? Have this fingerprint padlock can improve the security for cardboard? And the last one is if this device is being sold in the market, will you buy it? Next, the process of doing casing. After we finish the coding process, we decide to make a casing in order to install the fingerprint sensor or the casing. We go to Bakel Pipe and looking for UPVC pipe to make our casing. First, we cut the UPVC, UPVC pipe become soft. Become okay. We cut the UP, UPVC pipe to a suitable site. Then we use burn the UPVC pipe with high temperature so that the UPVC pipe becomes soft. And then we turn the UPVC pipe into a U shape. After that, we cut the trunking pipe to a same size with UPVC. And then we install the fingerprint model in, into the trunking pipe and stick with the U shape UPVC pipe. Next, this is the process of unlocking and locking by using fingerprint. Okay, next. Next, um, the result. The difference between fingerprint and traditional lock is the timing to open is 0 0.2 seconds and 1 second. The effective time, the effective times of unlocking is two times and zero times, and there's seventeen fingerprint user and four traditional user. Next, the last is pricing. This is the list of item name and the total price of all the item. Our fingerprint sensor contains eleven items, and the total price is one hundred sixty-three ringgit sixty-one cent. Conclusion. Uh, we have conclude three conclusion. First one is design of the product using in prototype is recycled item. It can save money and more eco-friendly. The special design for this prototype is, is it can take out and bring to other cardboard like portable fingerprint padlock. Next is fingerprint. This sensor can take a correct user fingerprint and fingerprint cannot be tagged by other people. Uh, compare this padlock using 0 0.2 seconds to open the lock, but for traditional padlock, 
need using more than one second to open the lock. Uh, this is the gun chart for our project. Okay, next. This is the gun chart. This is the reference. Thank you so much. Uh, Cik Suzana lah, bagi komen dulu. Right. Um, okay. Ada buat uh, collaboration ke ataupun awak ada tanya dengan uh, pihak Asrama ke? Awak uh, punya uh, sekolah kajian Asrama tadi kan? Eh, ke bukan? Yes. Uh, ada ke tanya dengan pihak Asrama ke kalau... kalau <tuh> Uh, tidak tak ada tak ada kita tanya uh, itu uh, uh, pelajar saja tanya pelajar saja ya kalau ada tanya dengan uh, dengan parents awak ke uh, kalau awak nak pasang dekat rumah dia orang setuju ke tidak pasang macam tu pasang dekat rumah setuju lah setuju hmm. ada ada tanya dekat itu Facebook dan Instagram mereka Setuju. 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 So, berapa yeah. harga, harga produk yang awak nak offer? Hmm, mungkin 50 dulu. Tapi awak punya modal lah 100 lebih. Oh. Ha. Awak nak jual harga ada modal oh. awak? Oh, jual kat mungkin maybe 200 lah. 200. So, hmm. 200 kalau untuk asrama satu bilik satu satu tam tam print satu peklok kan? Ya. Yeah. Eh so, dua, dua dua orang. Dua betul. orang dok. Dua orang dua peklok. Ya. Yeah. Oh dia tak boleh pakai satu peklok dua jari. Boleh boleh. Itu fingerprint boleh simpan 100 lebih fingerprint. 100 lebih fingerprint. Ya. Yeah. So uh, Just, uh, untuk collaboration, awak ada tanya dengan 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 uh, ada user lah. Maksudnya bukan asrama punya user kan? Ya, ya. Dia produk. Awak buat pengujian tadi tu, awak ada buat video? Testing? Ada, ada. Tadi yang tu. Ada eh? Ah, yang tu tadi dekat slide sana. Oh, saya terlepas lah kat yang tu. Oh, mau tengok lagi ke? Hmm. Dah awak dah tukar ke daripada yang masa perjalanan satu Kau letak dekat dalam kan? Awak dah tukar dah ke? Tidak, tidak Oh just hmm. uh, pada yang asal? Ya yeah. Okay hmm. Yang tu sekarang macam inilah Tapi ada satu masalah saja Haa? Huh? Yang ni fingerprint kan Hari tu saya terlalu kuat Saya tolak dia dan itu barang ke dekat lor. Oh okey. So, itu beli lagi lah yang ni dan a hmm. uh, pasang lagi nanti hantar ke poli. Oh, eh, yang tu hari tu uh, yang untuk awak letak letak jari tu uh, hmm. panel minta awak letak dekat dalam, bukan? Dekat luar. Yang ini saja dekat luar. Oh, yang tu saja dekat luar. Uh, sebab kamu kan tampling sini dan dia buka. Ah. Hmm. Kalau kamu simpan dekat dalam dia uh, senang kasih orang untuk buka. So, punya PV, pipe PVC awak buat tu letak kat mana sebenarnya? Dalam. Pipe PVC? Pipe, pipe PVC? Pipe yang awak potong, awak potong pipe PVC kat bengkel tu? Hmm. Yang kotak hitam bawah ni kan yang besar tu? Uh, ini ialah tanking pipe. Tanking pipe tu? So, uh, uh, yang ini PVC. Oh, okay, okay. Ha. Yang PVC bulat tu kita bakar dan luluskan dia okay. uh, buat shape macam ini. Oh, okay. Ha. Dan ini boleh buka dan bawa ke asrama bilik yang lain. 
Oh, okay. Kan kita asrama setiap sen tak sama bilik. So, hmm. kalau kamu beli ini, kamu boleh bawa ke bilik yang lain. Hmm. So, tetap lagi lah. Tentang permanent lah. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Ini bagi pada Suzah Faham pula. Okay. Nak, saya nak tanya sikit berkaitan dengan produk kamu ni. Okay. Uh, tadi saya dah tengok video tadi, uh, thumbprint tadi. Hmm. Uh, macam terlalu cepat sangat dia punya kembali balik lock dia kan. Dia nampak tak? Dia you letak you punya jari, lepas tu dalam masa 2 second kan, dia terus keluar. Jadi uh, nama baik kan, uh, jangan terlalu cepat sangat. Takut uh, tak sempat kita nak buka, dia dah lock semula. Oh, uh, Kalau uh, kita ada set, kita fingerprint thumbprint, dia macam 5 second dia buka, then uh. dia tunggu lebih kurang 30 second, dia baru tutup balik. No. Okay. Ya, yeah, tutup balik. Satu lagi saya nak tanya, uh, apa perbezaan uh, atau kelebihan daripada smart lock kam, door kamu ni dengan smart door, smart lock door yang ada lah dekat pasaran? Uh, apa? Uh, yang kita boleh ambil sini sana lah, yang, yang pasaran tu memang kekal dekat pintu saja. Boleh berubah je lah ni. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, boleh bawa sini sana. Uh, dia pakai bateri ke apa tu? Ah uh, bateri, semua bateri. Kalau bateri habis tu macam mana? Ah uh, tukar saja uh, dekat sini boleh tukar. Nine volt bateri. Uh, okay, masa tiba-tiba waktu dia nak uh, kawan kamu nak buka pintu tiba-tiba bateri habis. Macam mana? Apa solution yang kamu perlu buat? Uh, mungkin boleh macam buat test dulu bapa itu bateri boleh tahan dan setiap kali macam uh, dua minggu tiga minggu. Uh, mention dia, panggil dia tukar lah. Kalau lupa, macam mana? Tiba-tiba uh, nak buka pintu, you tinggalkan rumah contoh, uh, balik, pergi balik kampung sebulan, dua bulan kan contoh you balik cuti mm. kan. Uh, mm. Tiba-tiba you tak tak ingat pun yang akan, you akan tukar dia punya bateri. Tiba-tiba nak masuk, oh. tak boleh masuk macam mana? Uh, kemungkinan ya uh, akan pasang satu reset button. Untuk reset dia, emergency reset saja lah. Pasang, ada pasang tak sekarang? Tidak, sebab tak sempat. Okay. Penambahbaikan you kena buat macam tu. Apa-apa jadi Aha. emergency, tak hmm. boleh buka. Okay, you kena cari solution macam mana nak selesaikan isu tu. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. faham eh? Okay, itu oh, saja saya punya komen. Okay. Okay, uh, Cik Suzana boleh terus. Okay, okay lah. Kalau tak ada apa-apa, uh, itu sajalah untuk presentation awak. So, untuk penambahbaikan tu, awak boleh tulis dalam awak punya uh, report sahaja. Tambah. Tambah baik dalam awak punya report. Okay. Oh, so, tak perlu lah. Kodak dekat kodak. Tak perlulah. Tak perlu sebab oh, ni dah fajar. Okay. So, buat just untuk uh, tulis dalam awak punya report untuk awak punya penambahbaikan tu mm -hmm. sahaja. Okay. Okay, okay boleh. Alright. Okay, boleh buat. So, effort. Okay. Check. So. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Paul. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chet. Bagi tu. Ah uh, dengan video ni sekat video ni ah uh, dalam team saja saya bagi link je pun tak apa. Dalam dalam uh, folder yang saya bagi tu. Okay. Ah uh, alright. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Puan. Thank you, Puan. Thank you, Puan. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, thank you.